Guess what? What? We're still cops. Dude, we're never gonna stop being Welcome. cops until the streets are clean. Welcome to Clean Street Sweeper Bros. <laughs> the Street Sweeper Bros. I'm Gerard. I'm a street sweeper. And today... I'm Detective Cole Phelps. Um, so I don't... We're, we're not really using a guide per se, but I do do some research in between each episode we're doing. Yeah. And just to like get an idea of like what this case is about. Yeah. Um, just like, you know... That kind of stuff. This is called A Slip of the Tongue. be in front of a grand jury by next week. It originally was a pre-order bonus from Walmart in Canada and in the US. Well, hey. So, it came with the game's soundtrack. Um, sick soundtrack. Yeah. And uh that's about it. The rest is just pretty like play the game. Play the game. So, Great. This happened January 29th. Uh, it's a real 1947. Case? So I guess I guess this game the when you buy the collector or buy the whole thing, it uh -huh. like fills in the gaps. Remember, so if we didn't have the DLC the portion, we'd be playing a we different just, case right now. Skip right over this. But, but if you play the beginning, now. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser. There's the fucking All right. Dude, get out of the way. We're cops. Get on the freeway. It's fresh built. Fresh built freeway, not that fresh. Oh, Woo! dude, you just didn't hit that cop. Oh, stop him, Officer Phelps! I command you to stop him. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I agree. What do you mean? I'm doing it. No, you're not. He's taking you out. That's what he's doing. No, he's not. Take Knocked him out to dinner. Up. Take him out to dinner. Oh, oh, oh no, the, the city, the, the city, the city's gonna be so mad. There you go. He's stuck. Get out. Point the gun. Point the gun. All right. All right. Maybe Show me your hands. Over the speed Show him. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? Dude, this suit is too much. What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. <laughs> what? You your mind. My suit is too car, much. And I've got the paperwork to prove it. Uh -oh. Let me see this. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. Sorry we fucked up your car, but... <laughs> see, the thing is, we're cops, so... Dude. Uh, I looked at that achievement, and it's because we, uh, we stopped him before the other- and anyone else did, because I guess, like, at one point... It's you like, oh damn. Anything better to do, but I've got a class I need to get to. Oh yeah, well maybe you should wear cooler clothes next time, vest boy. Yeah, where's your you fucking sunset suit, huh? Do, but I've got a class I need to get to. It's asking about that vehicle. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Seems like he's telling the truth. That's to me. that's real. Yeah, I believe you. And the ownership papers? Are from the same place. All right. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Okay. All right. Seems legit, cause we are cops. I'm a cop. I'll say that was legit. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. <sighs> yeah. He's okay. Hold on. Well, he looks like he's telling the truth. But he's not. Why do you think he's not telling the truth? Oh, yo. Welcome to the world of lie to me, where I've watched this show so much. You think he's trying to look like micro he's like micro expressions? Oh, he looks shifty to the side for a look, second. Look, look at it. his eyes are blinking. His mouth is a little dry. He's like kind of like trying to like you know keep it going. He's not lying, but we should doubt him. We should doubt him. You better give us something, Cliff. Or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because. Because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. Wacky backy? One reefer. One reefer? We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Sounds like my grandparents talking about drugs. I guess that's literally what yo, it is. Yo, Phelps is like, yo, whatever. Yo, were you high when you put on that vest? <laughs> oh, roasted! All right. Question what of the day. With Take it? a photo or be real homework. Richard Coombs. Photo your worst. Like, send us the worst photo of your, like... 
What do you think of the, the like the ugliest thing you regularly wear is? Yeah, Dude, this is some of the truth. He just told us who, who yeah. put up the car from. He told me he has weed in his car too. To the cops. Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. Great, tight. Anytime I see that three out of three, I feel like we just are like you, you guys can't see, but we like we always dap. We, we dap. Hashtag perfect dicks. I'm gonna just keep leaning on that one until we get a shirt out of it. <laughs> new merch. Hashtag new merch. Right, detective. You know who my father is? Oh no. No. Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Yeah. Coombs Auto. Coombs Auto. You need to drive. Let's go to Coombs. Do we know where we're going? Yes. We're going to Coombs. Or what? I think he's telling the truth. What? Yo, is this like city like not loading? The voiceover yeah. stopped. That's the lemon wash whistle. <laughs> That's the lemon wash whistle, baby. I was too fast at being a cop for the game. You were too good at detecting. God, this looks so cool. I wish, like, this was a PS4 game and then the graphics were like, a little bit better. Not another step. Just because it looks so I cool. Have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect. <laughs> These for salesmen you. always start off so Go smarmy. talk to him. Yeah. Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harris <laughs> He's claims he oh. the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Oh my god, he looks just like the actor. Yeah. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? Fraser. It's in my office. Walk this way. Named after the uh, movie star of Parental Control. <laughs> Look, did anyone just see... Did did anyone just see the swagger walk he had? <laughs> he looked like he had like big head mode on. Patrick, play that back in slow motion <laughs> like, like, with some like with some good sweet ass jazz. Yeah. I love to sing up uh, about the moon and the June and the spring up. Uh, I love to sing up uh, about a sky of blue uh, or a deep or two uh, anything uh, with a swing or two and I love you. Uh, like, <laughs> Okay, so uh, I should follow him inside. Yeah, look for clues. Let's go. Let's go check him out. We got clue situation going on here. Maybe. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there too. Okay. Oh, hey, grab the pink slip. That's a clue. Okay. Wait, this is to Gene Archer. Gene Archer. 146 North Fremont Avenue. This is who used to own it? Can you press X? Yeah. Transfer by owner. New location? Trace address for marquee printing. Yeah, it's a forgery. It's gotta be, right? So that's the... that's the pink slip. What's the other paper? Okay. Wait, let me look at this again. Real quick, for real. Just wanna look on the other... on the back side. Oh! That's all I can look at. Okay. I just thought I missed that bit. This guy's super good at folding. Alright. What you got for us? Receipt. Cliff. Oh, the bill of sale. Yeah. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. So he bought it. This is weird. Huh. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Okay. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. He looks very much like he's telling he, the truth. He's telling the truth. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price is certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. You think she was trying to sell the car off? Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? 
I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. This guy seems like a straight shooter to me so far. Yeah. Description uh, of the suspect. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. So she so she so she forged the pink slip and sold the car. He's telling the truth. Yeah. Like he just seems like he's trying to help me. Yeah. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere but no place to go. You get to know the type. <laughs> it's like writing a detective novel. <laughs> Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. That guy does have a sick tie, let's be real. He seems just like he's telling the truth to me. Yeah, that's that sounds. Yeah, he's telling the truth. He's just been the truth, bro. Yeah, he's just helped me out. He's just been a nice boy. Yeah. Marquee. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. He said Pedro. He must really live here. <laughs> when exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Cook? Close of play on Friday. Ooh. Oh. He's I, not lying, but yeah, he just maybe he can't remember. I but think he's, I think he's like he's like you know maybe that's not true. I, th I don't think he believes himself, so he's doubting. We doubt him. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. All right, the transaction. Let's hear it. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. <laughs> Okay, this is the most obviously shitty, like, expression I've ever seen. I mean, I can't tell if he's lying or if I should just doubt him, but he looks so damn shifty. Well, let's, let's discuss this. Okay. What qualifies him to be shady in he this instance? Bought, he bought a car... That. Regardless of, of what it is, I'm talking about visually right now on screen, what oh, makes him shady. Look at, he's going like, <laughs> and he's like, he's got like this weird smirk on his face and he's like, uh, yes. So, um, so from my experience, anyone who lies in this game, they never make eye contact or they'll break eye contact all the time. You're as thick as a whale sandwich, aren't you, son? I think this guy... If I had to, I, I, I don't think he's telling the truth, obviously, because the smirking smile, but he also understands that we are serious with being cops. So do you think I should just doubt him? I think we should doubt him. I don't know. That's just me. What do you think? I think I'm, I felt like I wanted to doubt him. You, oh, is that what you felt too? Yeah. I just, he just doesn't seem like he's being entirely truthful and that he yeah, might have. Yeah, he's definitely, I don't think. Does this look legitimate to you? Combs? Yeah. Like, I think he just like. I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, he but made some allowances. With me just embarrassing. My help. Wow. Thanks for your help. Whew. That was the hardest question so far. I'm going to smack Hope this you dude. Out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Dang. Shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Huh. All right. All right. Can you look at the evidence we have so far, Alex? Well, yeah. Let me just the call in the... Uh, run an APB on Gene Archer. Yeah, I'm just going to call in. It's part of being a cop. You know, it's not as glamorous as some of the other stuff that happens, but... Uh, yeah. You got to use the game well every once in a while. Just get the information out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drink some of this cucumber rock star. We're not brought to us by rock, by monster or rock star. It's actually not that good, so don't worry about it. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. Tight. Messages, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. Okay. They're waiting so on I can go interview that guy? Interview. Thanks, ma'am. I can go interview that guy, or I can go to the police station, or I can go to the uh, printing shop. No, let's go talk to let's go talk to Gene. But well, I didn't. I don't have her address yet, do I? Yeah. Is this it here? Yeah, because it's all. It was on the uh, pink slip. Okay, so you think I should go to? Let's Gene? go talk. To, go, let's go straight to the horse. All right. Let's go straight to the horse. So we can hear from the horse's mouth. <laughs> 
We're cops. It's like, all the, right. it's like the, the Hold on. Shrek Let onion. me just give you all a little context. Okay. I'm not playing a game. Yeah. I am not stressed out. Yeah, he loves all it. All I'm doing He's having a great is time. drinking God. water, <laughs> feeling good. A wonderful beverage. Yelling at people like I don't give a you fuck. Calling them liars. Calling them out on their shit, too. We have a per we're doing perfect We're right now. perfect bros. Perfect dicks. Dude. I now understand the perfect dicks. You get it. Why We're going for a perfect game. Yeah, perfect detective. We're going to be perfect dicks. You just thought I was just being like a weird guy who was in. I thought you were saying like we are men who are well endowed with the glorious of rods, but no. this makes more sense to perfect me now. Perfect detectives. Perfect, perfect dicks. Perfect detectives. Perfect dicks. I get it. I'm on board. Welcome to episode whatever the hell this is of we're Illinois. We're there. What episode is this? 12? No, Ten? I think we're nine. <laughs> Six? Episode, I don't know. Nine hundred? Episode 42. Episode 70. Welcome. Episode 60 noon. S 60 noon? I wanted to say 69, but I was like, oh, <laughs> you got too inappropriate. You got too scared? <laughs> yeah, so I just I went, said fuck a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> I said fuck a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> is this an empty lot? Is that what we're looking at here? Or is no, it that the, small house? The lot hadn't loaded yet. That's what it was. Okay. I should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station. To Fake the address. Guy has to say. Oh, man. All Fake right. address. We're going to the cops now. Or to the printing company. What do you want to do? Let's go to the cops. Let's tell our friends. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. No big deal. Hey, we also, always, you know what we always say in the office? What? No sweaties. Yeah. I say that all the time in my whole life. No sweaties, everywhere. Betty. You know what else I say? Uh, Rockstar cucumber <laughs> energy gives me the burps. Hashtag sponsored question mark? Definitely not. Was and ready in Co hashtag could be sponsored. No one knows. Let me know. Thanks. Let me know. Someone tell them. All right, let's, let's do this. What room? One? One or... I don't know. Want to talk to him again? I just don't remember which one he said. Interview room one is over here. Doesn't seem like it's in here. <laughs> I want to talk to the guy who's not in here. Why didn't you put him in... Alright. Why would you put him in two? Why would you put him in two? I did talk into a wall. You'll never believe this. <laughs> Crummy bastard. What the f- James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my Dude, car and I got the proof right here. Take a this look This is Dale Gribble. We gotta go to the printing spot, dude. Look at this. The pink same thing again. Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. Can you back out? Let's think about ego they don't talk about other people. There's nothing on the back. It's not even signed. Is the same car again? Hey, fuck you, asshole. Whoa. Whoa. Are you taking the car, James? Blow it off, greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. You call me a greenhorn? Don't be an asshole. Doubt him? Doubt. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're Hell yeah. 10 years, Belasco. Hell yeah. You could buy. I want a deal. I want a deal. Cars out of state, Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Got him. S who, association with Archer. Got him. Does the name Gene Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. Look at his face. You Look are his face. full of Goop. shit. Goop. You are Goop. so. Fucking full of it. Should I doubt him or if you had a fucking iPhone right now, you would be playing happy flappy bird on it to not look at us in the eye. <laughs> Call that fucker a liar. He's so lying. What do I use as it what do I use as evidence though? What for for what? For him to know. If I call him a liar. We have we have the the the, the original uh the fake address. The fake address? It proves that it proves that we it's, it's on. It's the same. It's on his pink slip too. Yeah, and the address is not real. Okay, 
We went there. It was an empty lot. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Fake address? Fake address. You swear? I'm I'm betting my money on that fake address. All right. So that's why you both have the same address. Oh, there we go. Your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right. I know. Her. Boom. Damn. Boom. Check me out. Damn. Check me out. I'm a perfect dick. Uh, uh, <laughs> he loves it what? now, you guys. What? Immediately. Uh, 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 uh. Immediate 180 on the perfect dicks thing. All right. Auto theft what racket. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state line? I don't know. I just delivered. Oh, them. yeah. Okay. <sighs> Doubt that fucker. Give me something, Velasco. Or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. Oh I shit! Okay, okay, I hear you. <laughs> that line is right out of uh, LA Confidential. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Okay. Oh, tell us about the warehouse. This guy is gonna warehouse. just get murdered by the mob. Mainly in East Downtown. Doubt. Where? Come on. Give me the address. Come on. Velasco, you want my help with the DA? Cough it up now. Place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. And we'll see what we can do. Damn. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information. Damn. Is Still nailing it. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. Man of my word. But real talk, you should have thought about that before you started stealing fucking cars, bro. Yeah, dude. We're the, We're the cops, cops right? dude. Yes, I am. Can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed See? that the numbers are legitimate. What? Can you check them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here. I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great. Day. We'll get down there as soon as we can. Yeah, we're gonna roast this guy alive. That guy's gonna get roasted alive. Oh, we are so gonna become the super. GTA suspect Gene oh. Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, two fifty-three South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street. If you run, go. She won't hang around. Okay, should I drive there? You think I should drive to her? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, okay. Come on! We don't want to lose her! God damn it. Get out of the way. Put your, so put your horn on. God damn it, it's still so hard to drive. Alright. Is that where we're going? The flag? Yeah. I think so. Less than a minute down the street, he said, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Gotcha. <laughs> they can't use the Western Union logo. Oh, yeah, they did. Hi. LAPD. Gotcha. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? No. You look sweet. How about giving the girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I what can't do f that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Stefan? Just luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. Um, we're gonna have to ask you about the, uh... We're gonna have to ask you about what episode of Parental Control Frasier is on. That's the real case here. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Uh, I'm gonna say I doubt. Gene, you've blown open the whole operation because you were. You know why I didn't say lie? Because she was what fucking convinced. She, yeah. She gave the look of Give truth. Yeah. I was just doing what they do. They pay me fifty bucks to drive the car. I made two grand selling it. Dude, she's just admitting to these crimes. You're dead. Is that all your life's worth? Look, a girl needs things. I don't see you looking out for me. I'm gonna arrest you for stealing cars. What's your situation with Belasco? Belasco been delivering cars. Who is James Belasco? We, two guys. 
I should call it the same, same exact lie, shit, right? Liar, fake address. liar, pants on fire. James, Show the uh, motherfucking fake address. His name is Archer. Oh, I... Well, I think you did, didn't you? Well, I'm sure. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I don't know. You are so... Show him the fake address one more time. <laughs> you aren't sharp enough to lie to me, Gene. You and James Belasco share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell Bigelow? the car? Yeah, that too. Who's Bigelow? Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? I doubt it. Doubt, doubt, doubt. Look at her. Goop. Trying my patience here, Jean. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. They'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 58 Industrial Street. If this Big warehouse is an, lagoon, if this is a fake address, now you've got what you want. Can I'm gonna be infuriated. Please? Yeah, man, that's real. Man, we've got a car waiting outside for you. <laughs> career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. <laughs> oh, Stefan, you card. That hat is on her head. Did we get all the questions right? I didn't see the. Yeah, three out of three, bitch. Tight. All right, next time on Beard Bros, we go to the the warehouse shootout. Next time we're gonna go to that. Yeah, we're gonna go to that printing company and figure out what the fuck is going on. Oh, we gotta go to the printing company too. Okay, yeah. Oh! Fem achievement, imbecile. achievement, what's up, what's up? Wow, it's a little bit, uh, <laughs> doesn't that translate to dumb girl, dumb woman? Uh, yeah. Uh, stupid girl? Well, it's like, you know, femme fatale. Yeah, I get it, I get that's it. That's what it's, that's what it's, 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 it's parody, Alex, you wouldn't know. Yeah, 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 I know, I'll figure you, out. You, I'll, yeah, I'll humor, figure out humor, humor in you is like. Yeah, I know, I'm a dead, you're, you're I'm a, a dead bit. soul, I'm a ghost <laughs> with no sense of humor. <laughs> Next time on Beer Bros, we're gonna go, we're gonna go get some, some, Paper we're, we're gonna go to the printer and then we're gonna probably have a shootout at a warehouse. I have a feeling. Yeah, let's go murder someone who deserves to be murdered. Yeah, well, well, let's, well not, who knows? let's not get into that. Oh, let's, let's not get not, into philosophy here. Yeah, let's right. not. Later, man. Later, man.